In October 2014, I took a trip to Cleveland, Ohio for five days. I took a taxi to the airport. Get a look before opening your door. Took one of those classic fluffy cloud shots. And I arrived at my hotel, which was the Hyatt Regency at the Arcade in downtown Cleveland. It was a Friday and there was a wedding. It's one of those atrium hotels. It's incredibly beautiful. Very old building. Um, so I took a lot of photos of the hotel. And as you can see, there was a wedding going on. It was one of those Friday night weddings. <clears throat> I don't know exactly what the groom was doing here. Apparently, he was adjusting the uh, tablecloth. Um, so I kind of like the uh, meta of the photographer taking a photo of a photographer. As food is going by, and you can see the photographer is relatively stationary. So uh, I went and had dinner. Fourth Street is the big deal down there. A bunch of good restaurants. I ate at Lola. Uh, and uh, it was a good night. I uh, woke up early and uh, took uh, some of those early morning shots that I like with the halide lights and the uh, uh, sunrise coming up. <coughs> Cloud situations. Just the public square. Uh, and uh, it's a building they seem to be renovating, Metropolitan School District building. They have these uh, lights by this fountain. Pretty cool. Federal Reserve Bank of Cleveland was right across the street. Yeah. If you want to book your wedding at the arcade, you can go here, by the way. Uh, we did some work. <clears throat> One of the main reasons I went there was a deep dive with the Knight Foundation. We did a design thinking exercise that was really awesome and led to some really good experiences uh, in Cleveland with uh, our fellow Community Foundation uh, grantees and some people of Cleveland. Anyway, we did that deep dive work at the uh, Museum of Contemporary Art, the MOCA, and uh, a pretty interesting building. It's a picture of me inside the, uh, that is to say, on the side of the building. Uh, Saturday night, uh, they had another wedding. It was bigger. More expensive, you can tell because they have the uh, covered chairs, see? Um, and uh, that was fun. I always like to take pictures of Komatsu equipment because uh, Sean Marie uh, has them as a client, so I just always take a picture of that. There's another piece from another spot. Cab right over to uh, interviewing our subject for the, the design thinking exercise. I took a cab. Um, past the uh, progressive field over into uh, the Tremont neighborhood and I ate at Lola. Nice joint. A <clears throat> um, couple times I took the health line. I dug that. Uh, they call it the health line. It's a sponsored uh, transit like um, by the Cleveland Clinic and individual stops are even sponsored by uh, different organizations. Uh, I took a walk on Sunday night over to a Christmas story house. That was pretty cool. Um, apparently, uh, here it is. Uh, the movie A Christmas Story, uh, the house was actually in uh, Cleveland. Even though I don't think, I think it was Indiana that uh, it was supposed to be set in. You could tell this is the, the leg lamp, the famous leg lamp, right in the window. <coughs> so I walked... Uh, through the Tremont neighborhood. I didn't realize I had to go over a uh, expressway. Uh, that was a little weird, a little late at night, uh, but whatever. I walked through, uh, no biggie. This is a cool neighborhood, Ukrainian Labor Temple from 1927 that's relocated. You can see there's a, a leg lamp here in the window on the left-hand side. Uh, uh, it's a fun thing to do. Lincoln Park. There's another Lincoln Park in Tremont. I um, appreciated the, the heritage, right? Pulaski Post 30. Um, uh, and uh, this is the Lola restaurant. Lolita, that is to say. And uh, the Polish Veterans Alliance, the Tadeusz Kosciuszko uh, uh, branch. Um, obviously, Kaz Park here in Chicago is a big deal. So there goes another Komatsu vehicle. Uh, so the main event was the Cleveland Convention at the Cleveland Convention Center. The 
Council on Foundations Fall Meeting 2014. And a uh, real highlight was hearing Alberto Abarguen. from uh, the Knight Foundation, talking in part about our work at uh, Smart Chicago and the Chicago Community Trust, um, again, in uh, working to uh, design, build, and demonstrate the power of digital tools to the community and, and really empower residents to use information. Then I went and took a walk. Oh, I was walking. I'm like, oh, okay, Fantasy Nails. This place is out of business. Oh, that might be trouble. Uh, an indication of you know economic uh, issues and then I walked about 30 feet and across the street there it is fantasy nails in the strip mall nice and new so uh, I guess there wasn't any issues so I took a walk over to Zubel Books well by the way in case you're wanting to zoos uh, that way uh, we took a walk over to Zubel Books across the bridge I uh, thought this was an interesting sort of uh, take on having uh, a view so you can look over and the bridge and uh, so I went over to Zubel Books ends up it's not really a place where you can buy books but uh, John Zubel came out and hooked me up with a bunch of books and then he's like yeah where are you going next and I said well I'm gonna go get a cup of coffee so I'll drive you over there so this is uh, a book called early Massachusetts history that was in uh, John Zubel's van uh, that was cool he drops me off over at the West Side Market and he told me to get a, uh, what do you call this, crepe. So I got a crepe, got some coffee next door to the crepe. That's what he told me to do. Took some tilt shift pictures from up above. This is a pretty classic place, this West Side Market. Uh, so that was fun. And then I uh, just walked around quite a bit. Now I realize why uh, Chicago Public Library is shypublib.org because the Cleveland Public Library stole cpl.org. Uh, you know, you got to be fast in the domain or world. So then we had uh, a gala. It's always nice. Gala is a very weird word. I think that gala, when they look back on the fall of our culture, they'll find uh, archaeological signs of galas. But anyway, this was one at the uh, uh, Cleveland Art Museum. Really cool place. Incredibly open spot on the inside. Uh, it was good stuff. Anyway, that was me in Cleveland in October 2014.